Well, it's yet another exciting logic movie about how to construct truth tables. Uh, in this one, we have two formulas. These are the sorts of longer formulas that people typically make mistakes with on the tests. And so let's work through these together. We have two different sentence letters. And so how many rows do we have to worry about? It's just four. We generate them in the standard way. True, false, true, false. Under the second one, true, true, false, false. This is probably not a bad point at which to ask the question, how many, if you had three different sentence letters, how many rows would you have to list and how do you do it? It's going to be eight rows, right? You're going to have the case where they're all true. Down at the bottom, you're going to have the case where they're all false. And the easy way to generate these is to just say true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false underneath the first row, underneath the, in the first column, alternate by ones. In the second column, alternate in pairs. Go true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false getting kind of small there. In the third one, alternate by fours. So four trues, four Fs. This is just an easy trick for generating all the possible combinations when you have three sentence letters. I've said in class that I won't give you any tables to do that have got more than three sentence letters. All right, so back to the one that we're working on here. Let's look at this first formula, and even before we write in any columns down here, let's go up to the top and let's number the connectives in the order that we want to work on them. Let's start with the question, what's the main connective for the whole formula? It's the arrow. Well, we know that we always work on the main connective last, and so we're going to be doing the arrow last. So what we'll need to do is get a value for what's in front of the arrow, and a value for what's after the arrow and then put them together for the arrow. All right, uh, so that means let's just look at this side. What's the main connective for dash s wedge t? It's clearly the dash, so we'll want to work on the wedge first and then we'll work on the dash. Now let's go to the other side. What's the main connective for dash s ampersand dash t? Well, of course it's the ampersand, so what we'll need to do is get a value for dash s, and then for dash t, and then for the ampersand. Then, once we've got all that done, we'll be able to generate a value for the arrow. Okay? One way to think about this is you're working from the inside of parentheses outwards. Always start as deep inside parentheses as possible and ask yourself what's the main connective, and then work outward from there. All right, S wedge T. If we wanted to, we could rewrite the S column and the T column underneath these. And if that helps you, by all means, do that. But in, it seems to me that it's just as easy to say, well, what are we doing? We're comparing S and T. Well, they're listed right here. Let's just go over here and say S is true, T is true. All right, when S is true and T is true, you get true. When S is false and T is true, you get true. When s is true and t is false, you get true. When they're both false, you get false. All right? And so I've gone straight to step one. I skipped the step of writing in the guide columns. Now, I look at uh, this dash. It negates what's inside the parentheses. And so I go false, 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 true. And I'm going to cross that out. All right, next step is dash s. So I'm not going to write in the S. I'm just going to go straight to writing in the negation of S, which, of course, is just going to be false, true, false, true. The same thing for dash T. It's the negation of the T column, so I'm going to get false, false, true, true. Now I work on the ampersand. Ampersands are true only when both parts are true. False ampersand false is false. True ampersand false is false. False ampersand true is false. True ampersand true is true. Cross off the stuff I just used. Now, the only thing I've got left is step six. Well, what's it going to compare? The main connective from the front side plus the main connective from the back side. So, false arrow false is 
true. What's the rule for the arrow? It's true except the famous T arrow F case. That's the only time an arrow is false. So false arrow false is true. False arrow false is true. False arrow false is true. True arrow true is true. This formula is always true. It's a tautology. If you look at it, it makes good sense, right? Notice it's really kind of just De Morgan's turned into a conditional. Dash S wedge T by De Morgan's that equals dash S ampersand dash T. So it makes good sense that it's a tautology.